of the 175th anniversary celebration continues at the Hatchery Riverside Hotel and Event Venue in Riverside Park this evening. News 19's Dave Soley joins us once again, uh, this time with University Provost Charles Isbell Jr., who, Dave, only recently became part of the UW. Yeah, uh, Dustin, that's correct. In fact, we're going to talk about that just a little bit. Charles, good to have you here. And what brought you to Wisconsin from Georgia Tech? What was the attractive part of all this? The Wisconsin idea. The idea that I could be at a place that's as broad as UW-Madison is, that touches so many people and can have a real impact on the city, the state, the country, the world. Well, we want to talk about that a little bit in terms of what your one of your primary jobs is right now, and that's hiring a lot of people. So how many are you hiring, first of all? Oh, that's a hard question. I will tell you, though, uh, we're um, investing in a big initiative called RISE. And the idea there is that we're going to focus on big problems that touch many people. So health, um, uh, the environment, uh, AI. And we're going to hire between 120 and 150 new faculty, on top of all the faculty we would have hired anyway uh, over the next three years. And we're going to build these people together across all the schools and colleges and all the disciplines so that they're focused on problems that touch the world rather than just their own disciplines that they normally think about. And we should define a little bit the Wisconsin idea. You're taking this education beyond the university. That's right. The Wisconsin idea is something that's been here for a long time, something that really, really I think, captures what UW-Madison is. It's about taking the things that we know in the university and taking them out to the world, yes, but also taking the things that are out in the world, bringing them to the university. It's a conversation with the world about how to make a difference and how to have an impact. It's not just about us talking outward or the world talking to us, but that conversation. And we have about 25 seconds, but I do want to ask you, you've been doing some traveling for a couple of years, at least a lot of you have. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that information? You learn a lot on these trips. What do you do with that? We take it back with us. We think about the problems we, that we can be a part of. We think about the things that really are impacting people out here, and we work with them so that we can do interesting things. At In the end of the day, it's all about working with the people out in the community so that we can have the kind of impact that we want to have. Very nice to meet you. Thanks so much for your time, Charles. We appreciate that. Dustin, a couple more things still going on down here at the hatchery. Anyone's welcome, so come on by. All right, thank you, Dave. And a reminder, you can still take part in that celebration. It continues until 7 o'clock tonight, uh, where they say everyone is a Badger today. And then at 7.15, they're having what they're calling uh, Badger Talk, focused on growing grapes in Wisconsin. Should be interesting.